A blind spot is the unknown, in some sense, unseeing obstacle that we have that really prevents us from seeing our unethical behavior. So it's, it doesn't allow us to see the gap between who we think we are, who we'd like to be, and who it is that we actually are. And one of the best studies of this is a study of charitable giving, uh, Daffodil Days, where they asked a group of people on campus, Daffodil Days is going to be coming to campus, it supports a charity, um, would you contribute? So roughly like 80% of the people say that they would, and when they actually, they track these people, when they actually ask them uh, on the day of the charity being there, uh, Daffodil Days, they don't. Um, so about half of the people that said that they would contribute don't. Think about decisions in the prediction phase, when I'm thinking about how I will behave, I think very abstractly. And we show that we think very abstractly in big picture kind of ways. Um, at the time of the decision, we're actually thinking very concretely. So if you take the Daffodil Days example, I didn't anticipate that when you asked me, I only had $5 in my pocket. It's either $5 for you or $5 for my lunch. So specifics of the situation drive um, our decision at the time that we didn't anticipate. Also argue that um, at that time, visceral forces overcome me. So I'm, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm angry, I'm fearful that I'm losing my job. All of those we actually have difficulty predicting, but they impact us quite directly at the moment we're called to make the decision. And all of that leads to what we call ethical fading that occurs at the time of the decision, where, where I saw it as an ethical decision before I made the decision. The time of the decision, due to all of these forces, I no longer code it as an ethical decision. So